everyone, welcome to another disused railway explore in Nottingham. We're about half a mile out of the city centre. You're about how many miles from where you live? 86. 86 miles from where this guy lives. This is Andrew from ALW Research Team and you've come to join me to have a look inside Stenson Tunnel. 183 yards in length. It's the fourth one along this route of the Nottingham Suburban Railway, which had a length of 3.65 miles. So there was Ashwell Tunnel, then there was Sherwood Tunnel, nearby Fordingwood Tunnel. So over there we've got Carlton Road, and you can see the walling of the underbridge. Now it's on the right hand side, it's still present. On the left hand side, it appears to be gone, and Snenton Tunnel is just a little way over there. There's Andrew, Hello. and that was once Fordywood Station down there opened in 1889 but it only lasted until 1916 when it was closed to passengers and the line closed in 1951. Where the station was there was also another tunnel and a short branch coming off and that was to provide access to a brickworks which was locally it's just a short little stump of railway maybe less than a quarter of a mile in length. So I think it's time to get ourselves over this busy road down into the cutting of the railway and see if we can find Snenton Railway Tunnel. So let's take a little look where we are on railmap.com. So right in the centre you have got Carlton Road that's going diagonally up left to right on your screen. At the top we've got the site of the former Thornywood station and you can just see a little spur going off to the right hand side where it says Peacock Healthcare. Now, that is where the fifth tunnel is, the one with no official name. Now, if we go further down, you'll see a lot of turquoise lines. Now, this was industrial track work for a brickworks, which was actually on top of Snenton Tunnel and the surrounding area just to the left of the tunnel. And that is exactly where we're going today, Snenton Tunnel. Let's see you back down there. So the blue brick on top of the Carlton Road X overbridge look, it's got Haven Brick Company, Tamworth, Staffordshire. So they've come a fair distance, maybe about 50, 55 miles from where they were manufactured. And it's on every few. There's another one there, look. And that one's faded and so forth. On the other side of Carlton Road now, that's the other side of the wall. So you've just seen me walking along the pavement on the other side of that wall. And you can see where we are in this filled in section of the track bed. We're at road level, roadside level on the other side. And look at the ground below. So you can see that this would have been quite a cutting on this side. And further down that way, I think I can see the portal to our Snenton Tunnel. This is Paul. Anyone recognise him? Hey I, guys. I don't. He's, who are you? Who are you? A wobbly runner. Why wobbly runner? Because I, I do a bit of running and I'm quite wobbly. Oh. I'm like a tree. Every year I seem to develop another layer every Christmas. Like a tree, is that why yeah. you're exploring branch lines recently? Yeah. That's amazing. So, yeah, I got into it over lockdown. So I used to live on Baton Junction, if anyone knows it, up near Sheffield. So just an absolute, it's like catnip. Baton branch is thrill. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Where you get from the uh, the Rother Valley Country Park and there's then viaducts that go over the roads and then you've got Spinkill Tunnel, which we're doing eventually. Yeah, yeah. we yeah. just got to wait for the uh, flood to die down. Yeah. Anyway, he's going to make a video on this as well, so Super. I'll put a link down below to his channel and, um, you know, give him a like.
So we just come from up there. Carlton Road is about a two minute walk just up there. Now you can see we've come down where the infill is. And we look like we're coming down to track bed level now. Because if I turn you about, you can see this Gret Oof just here, like oh, yeah. making fun of me. <laughs> but at the same time, there it is, look. There's Snent and Tunnel waiting for us. So that confirms we're at track bed level. And it's only a matter of time before we get inside. As I say, it's 183 yards long, so we've definitely been in longer. But I don't even think it's going to be the shortest one we've been in. What's the shortest one you think you've been in? Uh, it'll be Sugarloaf or Weedley. Yeah, that probably would be. Railway. Yeah, so. so about 100 metres long, I think. But it's a first time experience for me. I've never walked down here in my entire life, and I've lived in Nottingham for most of it. So just outside of tunnel mouth, look how high the embankment is. This cutting is severely deep. It's very, very high. It's only on one side, look. It's just a little embankment on the other side, and that could have just been put there in recent years. Now we were just talking, we feel this tunnel isn't deep enough from the arch top in the center just up there right down to ground level it feels as if it's a bit like it's partially infilled doesn't look high enough it's not is it no, it be. no that tunnel that track bed level must have been further down <laughs> Quick look above the portal now, look. We've just come around and it is in pretty good condition. It's a nice bit of iron fence in there or steel and you can see the track bed back towards Thorny Wood and Sherwood. That's where we were at the very beginning of the film, just a little way up there. Now in the video itself, inside the tunnel, there probably isn't gonna be a lot of dialogue from myself uh, because there are gonna be other people in there and there's lots of other noises that might be intermittently in there as well and plus andrew is just basically he's just very loud so i don't want to we don't want to hear you either do we no no we do really um so i think it's time to get inside on the way down, I'll tell you about it.
refuge lush. It's bricked up, it's got an arch top, excuse the strobing, it's because there's some very bright lights in here and you can see it's got the curved bottom. I was talking about how we believe the portal had been filled in at the beginning, hadn't we? So what yeah. we're roughly thinking is, around about that this white line is, of the paint, if you follow that all the way along, and you'll see some lights there. Now that is where the floor is that was on before we stepped down into the track bed level of the tunnel that we're in now. So it does firm up the suggestion that the tunnel portal is still semi-filled in. Yep. Let's get ourselves a bit further down, see if there's any more refuges, and get ourselves closer to the infill. shooting range since 1971 it has been repurposed as a firing range and it's a club that members can come along to straddled all the way through the tunnel of these railway sleepers that have been repurposed all the way down you can see the strip lighting all the way down that's where the sleepers and also another infilled bricked up refuge on the right hand side And um, there's still quite a bit of evidence, isn't there, of um, how, you know, it's like walking into an abandoned tunnel which isn't being looked after for other purposes, such as a yeah. shooting range. It doesn't feel like a railway tunnel, I don't think. And I'm not going to have massive experience with railway tunnels, but it is a year need, I need, I need to get him in a railway tunnel, don't I? <laughs> Definitely, to, yeah, I'll, yeah. I'll tell you what, I'll bring the lights, you bring the food. Hey, do you want to see? 20 quid off Amazon. Bloody hell, I need right. to show you the death ray, don't I? Yeah, I, I got done putting it on because it was uh, blinding everyone's what the photos, yeah. <laughs> So we're halfway up the infill now. Andrew sat at the top, look like, well, king of the castle. And it's very, very soft sand that we've come up. You can see, if I put my foot on it, it moves around. It's gonna get a little bit firmer as we walk up this last bit. And also, I believe, there you go, you can see me now. When we get to the very furthest point, we'll then see where it's been infilled. We'll be at the tunnel portal on the other side and we'll get to see infill which has been scooped in on the opposite side. These two here, they won't let me come up. <laughs> can, I, can I come up or not? Yeah, of course you can. Oh, thanks. So this is it, this is as far as we could go. That's the tunnel roof that I'm touching just above and there's a curve just there which is the tunnel mouth just there and on the other side is the infill where the tunnel was filled in that's remarkable isn't it let's get ourselves back down and walk through the other side so we've got to make ourselves back down the sandy section and back down to the trap bed level again oh what are you doing in <laughs>
So you may be wondering where the infield portal is above ground. Well, let's take a look at this very old map. Now, right in the centre, going from top to bottom, you can just make out the railway lines. And on the right-hand side, you can see Skipton Circus. Now, next to Skipton Circus on the left, you notice it is a cutting with all those dash lines and the railway line going through it. Just above that, you can make out a section which is not a cutting from here and down to here, which puts the portal at the very tip of what is known as Shelford Rise, which is just here on the map. And if we jump back onto realmaponline.com, again, you can see Skipton Circus, you can see Shelford Rise, and you can even see the turquoise lines, which was for the industrial track work above the tunnel and around it for the brickworks on site. So that's 183 yards of tunnelly goodness of Snenton Tunnel on the former Nottingham Suburban Railway. Four tunnels along this through route that was closed in 1951. What do you think to that? It was brilliant. That was that was great. Well worth coming on a permission visit. Yeah. So, uh, you know, it out. it's not always about getting into places that's abandoned because some of the ones that's even looked after are still worth a nosy in because it's still railway history at the end of the day. Like, subscribe and comment on his video because he's going to put a similar video to this one on. It'll be well worth a look. We'll put the links down below. And comment below also on this and like and subscribe. And any suggestions you've got for me or him, or him and me, whichever way around. See you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.